Hey guys, welcome back to Buff's Garage. You know, I was hoping this video was going to be on uh, our RV and, and getting it all repaired and ready to go on family vacation. Unfortunately, that video is so long, we're going to have to break it up into a couple parts. So I'm currently working on that, going to get it all edited and out on the web. So because of that, it's been a little bit of a delay on getting videos out, and I apologize. We're not on, on any kind of strict schedule with getting those things out, but we are over a thousand subscribers, so now we're trying to push to keep up and keep giving you content. So we are getting this motorhome ready to go. We're trying to get this front end fixed. We still got some uh, repairs we need to do. We've had some problems pop up. So instead of bringing you the RV overhaul video we've intended to today, we have to stop a moment because I had a little disaster this morning. I'm a little shook up from it. I borrowed my wife's car. She has a 2013 Lincoln Hybrid and I've been using that to go back and forth to work to commute because of the gas prices, right? Well, it had an unfortunate uh, incident today and uh, it met its demise. It found itself knocking on heaven's door after a run in with a large Kansas deer. It peeled that car apart like an aluminum can. And I, you can see the photos. So now we're off on an adventure to go find something to replace it. Something that's more up the alley of Buff's garage. Maybe even a will it run video. I don't know, we're gonna see what we can find. So stay tuned, keep hanging in there. We are getting this RV video edited so we can get it out to you. I know it's not the normal car stuff, but you know, family life, RVs are cool. We're just showing you how we can update an older one, make it look more modern. In the meantime, enjoy the video we've got for you today and we'll have the others In the meantime, enjoy the video we have for you today, and we'll get that RV reno video out to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching Buff's Garage, and as always, we appreciate you watching. Today we take you into one of our secret honey holes that we have. We won't tell you where it's at, but we want to show you around and see what kind of options we have for future projects.
still there. This one's got a, this one's got a 5.7 liter. Is it still there? She's still there. This is the same kind of engine that they put in Corvettes of the same era. This one's just built a little different. So which one are you looking for? I don't know if it's there or there. But there's a Ford. I think Hammer. it's this it's way. In our video. Right, I think it's this way. There's a Volvo. Look at, oh my God, it's destined. Look at the plate. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my God. It's destined. No freaking way. No seats. Oh my gosh. Somebody's done some work to it. Steering wheel still looks fine. Wow, that is stout. Imagine this with an LS in it. Yeah. There's already a guy out here late, literally just did one of these. Put an LS in it. Honey, stop. So the back seat's here, and it's just antique tools. Not a dent on it, just some rust. Bring him fly. This way. This is a grand prix. Oh, 
These are cool with the 3.8. Uh, oh no, that's still deep. That's still deep. Uh uh. Uh uh. It's still deep. Too deep? Yep, too deep. I already got in it, so. Yeah, I'm not. Are you sure that's a way? By golly, you made it. Yeah. And what's better, you showed Mama where to go. Good job. This is where, this is where he thrives. Another box truck, man. I'm telling you, if I could come in here and pull out every one of these box trucks, regardless of the condition, I could sell every one of them tomorrow. Hey, Mike. Hey. Look at this girl. We've seen better days, but look at how great it is. Yeah. Look at that Oh my gosh, the interior is pristine. Look at those tires. Oh, I hope this isn't poison ivy. Probably. Look at the interior, it's pristine. Don't count the floors. There's a bunch of maps. Oh, I can smell it and I can't even smell. That's what my grandma's uh, Novi used to smell like. Oh, I missed that smell. Grand sport. That must be the grand sport. I open this and big old snake come out. Yep. Water bottle. Not a supercharged, 3.8. There's another box truck. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. Now where's the 64? I don't know. Oh. Good stuff back here apparently. Go on. Mm -hmm. I've always liked this one. It's got the three lights on the cab. Look at that. It's in your own range. It's custom with S150. That's a decent old truck, too. This is an S150. You mm -hmm. said that one was still down here, and I'm almost wondering the way he was pointing if it's not down back around. Because if we went that way, it's not. Go the safe way. It's it's because everything's so high at auction now. Right. He's not wrong. Pick up. That right there, that's badass. So that's a doctor. These are good cars right here. You take a deer to this one, you probably don't survive, but you will. Oh yeah, I'm just like the freaking Lincoln. I mean, they got something that cab over right there. And pad out. You see this? That yeah. Ford cab over? Yeah. Jesus. I'm gonna get a shot of it, but I want to go that way. Those are 
rub the patina on this guy, other than the little dent in the hood, paints perfect on him. Mm -hmm. See how it's got the green and the red? Mm -hmm. She's perfect. I've got 15 projects here. Where did he go? What? Where did he go? He's that way. Is that it? What? Is that the one? No. Super 88. Man. Such a shame. Beautiful car. No, he said he had 64. Okay. He told me where it was, but I didn't see it. So it might be one lane up and in around the corner, but it was a big mud hole, so we didn't go through it. The boat back there. There you go. Pattern. Pattern view. So here we are looking in the junkyard, not for the one up front. We're looking for the ones in the back. Yeah. There's a light one like the one you had. Yeah. Here's my hole. Ford. You know, I need to find me a way through here. Good man, I got it. This way. Okay, yeah, we've been this way. Yeah. I just want to go back around and see what he's got. He said the 64 was rough, so. I want to see if we can find something that I could make run. I mean, honestly, the older the better. Oh. That's got a new battery on it. New cables, even. I don't need it, but it's cool. Look at the colors on it. It is a work truck. This is the tow truck he was talking about. So, where's the color? He said he put them both on the same side. That means the price should be over here. Yeah. Oh, that's a short cut before. Going with him. There's an Isuzu. This way. Look at all There's these prices. Look at that Isuzu right there. Yeah. Got a little gas efficiency in here. Look, it's a truck. Did we go around that way? Where is that? Oh, look at that town and country. Oh, Holy crap. That's nice. Holy crap. I wonder what's wrong with it. Holy poop. That's pristine. She is clean. Oh my God. Look at There's a hospital bed in the back. Uh-uh. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't have all the seats. Oh, right. does it? It's got stow and goes. It's got all the seats. Okay. So this is a... The seat needs, the driver's seat needs work. I don't care. This is not my make it run video, but if you want this. Open it. Open that. Huh? This one I'd let you get. But not if it's moving. There's the car. So there was a car I fell in love with. Come on, buddy. There's another one I like this back there. Okay. It's still there. Hot Mud hole. Mm. 
Little Abby out. Doing full time duty now. For what? What? For what? For, for something. For something? Mm -hmm. Backup camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is battery for... Is that the one for my car? Mm-hmm. Snug. Oh, lights came on. Uh oh. The flashers are working. <laughs> they are working. Where'd he go? It's on this side. Oh. Has this been juiced up? Mm, no. So we might be in double jeopardy. Maybe. It's going. Oh, yeah. Take it off. Sure. Did you get it? Yeah, it's on. All right. Yeah, it might be running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, yeah, it just it, it, your battery's just just not weak charged enough. It won't run everything. Yeah. So. Oh, cool. Scott. No, we ran out of gas, is. by the way. Not that one. That's the door. No. That one. Oh. Whatever that means. It came on a minute ago, I think, because it stumbled when it started. Yeah. Probably just got to turn it off back on. Would you believe your jump pack's dead? Is it? Yep.
that's a possibility. I want it. Weren't we over there? I vote it. I don't know. I vote it. Eli votes yes. Assuming that we're going to follow through. I would like I think, to. I think we're pretty set that we're going to do it. <laughs> Eli. Can you turn? Yeah. Just like pigs, just like pigs get sunscreen from the mud. Yeah. Now I'm getting more dirty again. I see that old girl. Ah. That's probably why we missed it. Right. Oh, did we pass it behind that truck? See that car? I think that's it. The tan one? Mm -hmm. It. You know, this one doesn't have the, the dents he's describing. He said it was down the road and around the corner, and this one's been here a while. Yeah. What? He took all those body parts and put them on an all new frame with all new everything. Just leave the body parts the way they are. That'd be pretty cool. Mm hmm. Metal studs. You definitely see better days. This whole side, bugger. This thing couldn't put it back on the road, but I don't know what I'd want to. You know me, I'm all about lost causes. Oh, yeah. Besides your minivan. So right now, besides the minivan, I think I'm looking at the sport van. Or maybe the Volvo. Mm -hmm. Unless you saw something else that you like that no. potential. I don't think so. Yeah, he's got that truck started. Everything here we could we could take and work on. <clears throat> everything. That cab right there. We could do something with that cab. Right. It's just none of it's going to be original. I like that old Dodge right that there. That Dodge is awesome. And you don't see him very often. Mm -hmm. So this one, if it had an engine, and we could make it run, pull it out of that spot, that would make for a cool video. Mm -hmm. But taking the powertrain out of this one right here, taking all the guts out of that and putting it in that, 
It'd be a modern vehicle with a old body. Pretty cool truck. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. And the 67 and 72 bodies that he's got and then the square bodies. I could build something out of all these square bodies. It's a big wheel got enough S10s and S10 blazers we could build three or four of them. This one looks like it's smiling. Yep. It's a heck of a set. Right. Like even these, I like these old trucks right here. Like this blue one. She's pretty. A few little dings, but. Yeah, full of engine in it. Little transmission in it. This is the second one of these I've seen. Okay, so this one says capital truck. Somebody has come through and uh, replaced the placard that goes here. But then down there, it should say Railway Express Agency. But it's still plain as day right there. Look at that. That'd be a good man cave edition, but I'm not touching them. One of the other sides. Got it. Nope. She's a butte, Clark. Nod to a YouTuber. That's this is cool. I like that old guy right back in there. No. I got a t-shirt idea. Okay. We'll work for car parts. <laughs> yes. I was just thinking I'll come out here and help them do cleanup and maybe we help them move stuff around. Exchange for some discounted car parts. Yeah. All right, guys. So it looks like we're making a deal on this vehicle. We're not gonna disclose the price right now, but you've seen that we could put a battery on it. It does run. Uh, not sure if we caught it on video, but we did get it to move back and forth. Um, so our battery was a little weaker than we thought. We put our jumper on it. It wasn't charged either, but we did get everything to run long enough to be able to see that everything comes on, everything seems to be working. It looks like it has a power steering leak. There was a concern about the transmission, but we know it goes forward and back. And we know that the person that brought it out here and traded it in, drove it out here. So a lot of good promise with this one. So now it's just a matter of getting all the paperwork signed and figured out and we'll get this thing home and we'll dive into it a little further. But honestly, I think putting fresh battery on it and some tires, it's ready to go on the road. So this will not be our will it run video, but we did take a vehicle that wasn't running and put a battery on it and made it run. So stay tuned. We appreciate everybody watching and you're gonna see more of this on the channel. We thank you for watching Buff's Garage. We appreciate all the likes and the comments, all the shout outs, all the new subscribers. Keep up the good work and as always, Try to reduce, reuse, and recycle just like us at Buff's Garage. Until next time.